you've just stumbled upon this lesson, lesson seven, I would recommend not doing this lesson, but going back to lesson one of this series for this particular song. At the end of the video, I will put up a, a uh, end screen that will take you to the first lesson so that you can start there. And the reason for that is you need to have the foundation of the tune that we are actually teaching you. So let's just do a quick review in lesson one. We played the scale across the fretboard and then up. And then we actually, I encouraged you or I taught you how to do the uh, pick out the tune in the first phrase by ear. And whether you accomplish the rest of the tune, which is what I encouraged you to do, is not important. But that if you tried, that is what is important. If you didn't succeed, that's fine. I just wanted you to try it. And then I encouraged you to take nursery rhymes, and Mary Had a Little Lamb, things like that, and do the same thing. So I hope you did that. In lesson two, we applied a chord to every note of the melody by assigning a chord to a fret. Then we taught you to play it as if you were flat picking, where you're not playing constant chords, but you're kind of doing melody mixed with chords. I also encouraged you to do the same thing to the, the songs that you were picking out by ear. Mary Had a Little Lamb, Three Blind Mice, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, and put chords to that. And again, I hope you did that as well. In the next lesson, we taught you to play the tune on the bass string with the inverted chords. And in the following lesson, we taught you to play it at the seventh fret and above with the chords. And then we taught you to use uh, slides or hammer-ons. And then in the last lesson, pull-offs. And this is going to be our last lesson for the tune. Uh, the uh, next lesson will be a practice track where you can put this all together. But I want to talk about throwing in a lick. And I've taught this lick before, but I'm going to give you two different ways to do it. And then I'll show you where and how to put this into the tune. Now, if we continue the series, and I'm sure we will, uh, whether it's right after this or later down the road, we'll add things that you can still put to your tune. So let's start. The, the lick I'm going to give you, you're going to pick out on the melody, back on the middle, put your ring finger down on one on the uh, middle string, pick out. So Then lift up that ring finger, pick back on the middle. So put your pointer finger on two on the bass, pick out. Put your ring finger down, lift up your pointer finger. So you're on the bass string at one, and then out. Two things. Watch the right hand. You're just going out, back, out, back, out, back, out. Right hand, or left hand, fret middle string at one, two on the bass, one on the bass, open. So all I want you to do is do this over and over. Let me slow it way down. And you want to get to the point where you can do this without even thinking, where you can talk. Not like that. And work on your speed. I don't want you to work on the speed so that you can play it fast. But if you can play it faster, that is a better, uh, better evidence that you have it down where you're not thinking about it. Now, another way that you can do that same lick is instead of going, you can just hold that note. So let's try it again like this. There we go. So out, back, hold it, out. So 
So you're going out back and you're holding that note. So then out open on the middle. So where does that come into the song? How do you use a lick like that? And there are other licks, but how do you use it? So you can actually use a lick at the beginning or end of a phrase. You can use it as the phrase. You can use it at the end of a song. So let's put it in to She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain. Here we go. Again. Now this would be an, if you put something in here, it would be an A lick. We'll talk about that down the road. And there we use it at the end. So let's do that again. So I'm going to play through a few times and just throw different things in. I'm going to really try not to think about it. When I think about it, I mess up. And this is the idea is that you just want to be able to play it through and mix it up. So let's start off here. So just some ideas of things that you can do and next week we're going to give you a practice track several times through where you can actually play with this mess around with it and again it's not that you're going to throw all the techniques at the same time uh, one way i would practice this is again the way we learned it learn to play the basic melody play it on the bass side play it above the seventh fret um, add the hammer-ons add the slides add the pull-offs add the vamping and add the little lick and you could do that actually just i think that's seven or eight times right there and then you can try to mix it up so i hope you have fun with this and we will see you next week for the last lesson of she'll be coming around the mountain and uh, we'll see where we go from there i want to thank my patrons for making these lessons possible uh, i could not do it without their help it's only because of the patrons i can do this at all so thank you patrons to anybody who would consider becoming a patron uh, it's five dollars a month uh, gives you you get the free lessons one way or the other but it helps keep the lessons coming 
Five dollars a month gets you a free monthly live stream workshop. Uh, every single month we get together, we talk, we teach, we play. It might be a jam, uh, but it'll include everybody. Uh, we do that every month. And then if you support at a higher level, there are other perks that you can get as far as CDs and things of that nature. Also at the five, you get the I Support Traditional Music sticker. But again, at higher levels, there are other options that you can get. But I want to thank the patrons and anyone who might consider becoming a patron. We will see you next week. God bless you all. Thank you so much.